Hi there, Commanders. Guardian E here with another Azure Lane video, this time a recap and reaction of the first Japanese livestream of 2024. We will be getting the reveal of the next large-scale Northern Parliament event that will be hitting later this month. So I do know that a lot of Commanders out there are speculating that we could get Soyuz revealed for this event. It's certainly possible, but Yostar and Manju have been known to throw curveballs, so... I ain't assuming anything. I'm just, I'm here for the ride. I'm here for the reveals. Let's just enjoy it together. Now, briefly, before we get started, I will just remind you that if you do enjoy this type of content, including Azure Lane videos, and you would like to help support us, uh, please consider leaving a like, a comment down below, subscribing to the channel for more. It really does help us out. We really do appreciate it. So thank you so much. And if not, thank you so much just for checking out the video, checking out the channel, coming along with us. Ooh. Some ominous winds blow. <laughs> what is Mafia san doing? <laughs> A plus performance, Mafia san. A plus performance. And here come the stunner shades that we know and love. And of course, Mafia san, our MC extraordinaire, as well as Dai Miwaki from Yostar here as well. Yep, Mafia san, of course, is all dressed up for the season, nice and nice and warm and bundled up. And revered guest number one, of course. <laughs> There's that Kuchan making an appearance. Konbawa. I like the little Pamya Mercuria chibis that they have on the tables. <laughs> oh, they're like little soundboards. Yeah. <laughs> uh, here they're just explaining the social media campaign that they're running with the live stream for residents of Japan to be able to uh, enter and participate in a randomized drawing for certain prizes, including some signed shikishi boards and things like that. And they're pointing, of course, to the social media comments that'll scroll up at the top there. And here they are talking about the new edition of the Welcome Home TB or the Raising TB game mode that they added recently into the game with the last update. Oh, they're going to actually play through it a little bit here. Alright, looks like he's picking kindness for his route. If you have not tried the new TB Chan mode, give it a shot. It's very cute, uh, quite addictive as well, and I, I think it's pretty darn fun. Yeah. Mafia-san just, just made a comparison to Princess Maker. Yeah, especially since it's its own standalone mode in-game without a whole lot of connections to the actual main game proper. <laughs> Here are some of the bad ends that you can get. I think there are 11 different endings or so. So, uh, effectively you can beat an entire run of the mode in, in one sitting. There's no time gating, there's no stamina gating or anything like that. So it is kind of I'm curious on that in that respect because, uh, you know, you can devote as much time or as little time as you want to it currently, which is nice from a flexibility standpoint. But again, I am curious if they're going to tie more to the main game uh, and if they're going to actually expand on it as it currently is. But I got to say, it is a pretty impressive addition to the game overall. And then elaborating a little bit more about how TB has her own secretary slot and also all of the different uh, incarnations and variations, variants that you're able to create uh, within the game mode itself. I did do a little uh, introduction playthrough of the game mode on the channel if you are interested in checking that out, but yeah, give it, give it a try. Alright, game news incoming. We're getting the game information at this point. Let's see what's incoming for the next event. Gonna get an animated preview, I'm sure. There we go. Oh, look at the little bunny! Look at the bunny. Oh, there! Oh! Look at a bunch of maids, too? Alright. Oh, look at that. There she is. Okay. <laughs> awesome. All right. Starting on the 29th and going until uh, the middle of March. So that is Soyuz, right? She got another redesign. It, it looks much more grand, more, uh, more regal. Uh, but yeah, so this is going to be the little brief introduction uh, text to the event. Read, of course, by uh, the Seiyu. Yes, yeah, so what's Gaia Soyuz? Is what he said. All right. <laughs> okay, there we go. There she is. All right. So she is going to be an ultra rare ship, as uh, as anticipated. <laughs> 
that, that type, Sovetskaya Soyuz, as a UR ship in the game, finally, after years and years, uh, we finally have her. I love the redesign. I think she looks great. Uh, a lot more grandiose in nature because she is an ultra rare ship, of course. I know a lot of people are going to be happy, and rightfully so. She looks fantastic. Next up on deck. <laughs> Who is this? <laughs> okay. All right, here is our next gold ship of the batch. They said Genki Kawaii, so... <laughs> Mafia-san. Bright eyes, uh, little crystal hearts floating about, very cute design. Looks like a little bit of a maid motif with the outfit, too. I like the little sparkles in her eyes. But yeah, I'm still I'm still kind of reeling from, from Soyu. She, she looks so majestic. Oh, hello. All that voice. Oh man, oh man, good lord. <laughs> so this is going to be the first purple ship of the batch. She looks glorious, she looks glorious. Once again, continuing the tradition of triple S plus tier art for elites. Uh, but yeah, I can't wait to get her. She looks stellar and that voice is brain melting. Alright, looks like we got another little, uh, little gaki here. Alright, so this is going to be the second elite, the second purple ship of the batch. I like that she has a Tommy gun to her side. Uh, the little doll that she's holding is very cute. It looks like a little mini version of herself with a revolver. And then you got, uh, bullet casings kind of flying all around her too. Alright. She's, uh, she's definitely got some gremlin vibes going on. And next up, ooh! Oh! Is that... Is that Pamia Mercuria Meta? Oh. <laughs> They're going nuts. <laughs> going nuts with the soundboard. <laughs> oh, she looks great. Still has that smug personality, but the color palette change is just really striking. It looks really nice. All right, so naturally that does beg the question, is she going to be in the build pool? Is she going to be just in the event shop or grindable or, or something like that? Uh, we're gonna have to see what they ultimately reveal, but wouldn't be the first time that a meta ship actually goes into the build pool, uh, so they might be bringing that back. I mean, that means that we need a Kuchan meta VTuber segment, if you ask me. So here we are getting an introduction to Sovetskaya Soyuz from the Seiyu herself. I look at that giant ice crystal staff, all of the little ice embellishments on her outfit. Just really majestic, really great work. Her voice soft and soothing. Uh, Seiyu did a great job, and here's an introduction, of course, to the Seiyu as well. Yay! Ah, she did a great job! Okay, so this is effectively the confirmation that uh, Pamiat Mercuria Meta is going to be in the actual construction pool. Oh, you can also actually grind for her here, so you can actually get her from the event shop. So that is nice, you're going to be able to get Pamiat Mercuria Meta through the, uh, the actual milestone rewards, in addition to having a, probably a small chance of getting her from the banner itself. And you are going to be able to get this Elite from the Milestone Rewards as well, just by grinding the event. <laughs> I like the little chaotic punk aesthetic that they have going on. So here they are showing off the gear skins themselves. Lot, lots of like little masks and uh, <laughs> you got the little stuffed animals, like the, uh, the punk stuffed animals. <laughs> the masked manju. The nail bat. The questionable stains at the end of it. And some, uh, some time bombs. So definitely, uh, definitely a bit of a rebellious uh, <laughs> little little uh, stuffed bunny drones, and uh, the masked manju drones as well. It's definitely not like any of the other gearskin batches that we've gotten. I, I I dig it. I dig it. And then again, keeping in line with that theme here, we've got the new dorm furniture set up here. Riddle the Phantom Thief. So that is what they're going for as far as the aesthetic, the, the sort of the phantom thieves with a sort of punk element to it got the chess pieces there master strategist thieves uh ahoy i suppose and see the little chibis in action there oh she just kind of like skids in that is cute <laughs> she's putting soyuz in the teapot naturally why wouldn't you oh she actually opens the piano up when she sits in it nice a little manju comes down to steal a jewel, Mission Impossible style. Okay, new skins, new skin info, alright. Let's see what they got for us in this batch. Always one of my favorite segments of the live stream, of course. Oh, we're getting an actual animated preview. 
What? What is this? It's, it's got like old school NES vibes. I like, is, is this just an introduction to the skins? Who is that? <laughs> the gangster manju. <laughs> oh, so this might be how they're previewing the uh, the skin batch. Nightless Castle. Push start. It'd be really cool if this was the mini game too, because that's like what the, what it Hi. feels like it's leading okay. into. It felt like an introduction to like an old school side scrolling beat 'em up arcade game, like you know, uh, Final Fight, Streets of Rage, that kind of thing. So if that was an introduction to the skins, it seems like they might be keeping in line with the whole like cops and robbers theme from previous years with the Northern Parliament, which I enjoy. Oh look! Oh my god! Oh wow! This is going to be a live 2D skin. Look at that dress. She looks phenomenal. Oh my god. Just swooping down from the cityscape, the large billowing coat behind her. She's aiming her gun right at us with the uh, the thigh holster there is just... Mm, can't wait to see that one in motion. And here is... <laughs> okay. So here is going to be uh, Ognevoy. Ognevoy is going to get a little police skin with a giant explosion behind her with all of the little manju and uh, I guess the the, the punk criminal uh, the punk criminal stuff uh, stuffed animals flying out and escaping or or up to no good something like that. All right, next up on deck, who have we got? Oh, oh, exceptional! Oh, look at that. <laughs> He's very happy, and so am I. <laughs> uh, excellent taste, my friend. Excellent taste. Yeah, Voltava, I think, is her name. I, this outfit is incredible. The downward angle, the crossed legs, you know, the whole crime boss look with the blazer and the short skirt, but you can tell that underneath, she's not wearing a whole heck of a lot, and whatever she's wearing is very, very strappy. And here we have Sver Sverepi, is that how you say her name? But she's definitely driving home the whole punk sort of Harley Quinn aesthetic uh, with the, the nail bat and the the glasses, the uh, the asymmetry of the outfit, the black and the white with the hot pink, and then of course the, uh, the criminal bears all around her too. So thus far, only one live 2D. I haven't caught if any of the others are dynamics, but uh, at least Soyuz is getting the live 2D. I think that's appropriate being the ultra rare ship. Oh, look at her. So this is, this is Monarch. This is Monarch in a police outfit. Oh my god. She looks so good. Like a, a midnight rendezvous in a garage with an informant maybe. She's got that long coat, but with the pencil skirt and the blouse with the tie just coming together. Got the aviators on her, perched on her head too. Really rocking that policewoman look. I like it. I like it a lot. Oh, hey, look at... Okay, so this is going to be a dynamic motion skin, and it is going to be Alan M. Sumner as a Phantom Thief. Oh, she's got she got a little bit of a double identity going. I like the theming a lot. So uh, in the mirror, obviously, she's a policewoman, but like behind her back, she's got the cards, and she's uh she's uh, leaping out of the window slash mirror with her Phantom Thief outfit. She's got that whip in hand. I'm curious how that whip is gonna uh, actually animate in the dynamic motion. I love how dynamic this one looks and the flavor of it. I think is really great. Okay, so this is going to be a police skin for Abercrombie. It looks like she's actually on a police boat, cruising along. Oh, we're getting a preview. Applying the lipstick. Oh, that thigh holster is killer. Just swinging. We got her, uh, caught her red-handed with the camera. There she is. Okay, wagging her finger at us, too. God, she looks so good. That dress is so elegant, just draping off of her figure. It looks absolutely fantastic. She actually gave a little salute. So is she undercover? I don't know. We'll have we'll have to see what her uh, uh, we'll have to find out what her backstory is in that skin. The one thing we know for sure is that she looks stunning. Okay, so the skin batch is going to be available starting on the 29th when the event actually starts, and of course ending when the event ends on the 13th of March. And you are going to be able to use rental tickets to rent these three skins during the designated time period as well for a couple of days, just to try them out, see if you like them before you buy them, or just, you know, enjoy them for free for a while. 
I mean, I'm definitely buying Soyuz's skin. No, qu no question there whatsoever. It is extremely likely that I will be getting Alan M. Sumner's as well. Uh, what is it? So it looks like the JP server is going to be getting a rerun of some skins as well as some cumulative rewards. So, so it looks like they will be able to get, uh, I guess, an Oath skin as a cumulative reward after a number of skin purchases. But yeah, getting uh, a number of these live 2Ds making a return uh, starting again on looks like the 29th to middle of March for both. Uh, if you don't have that Shinano skin, get that Shinano skin. You need to get that Shinano skin. <laughs> Alright, so they are confirming that this is going to be the next light rerun that we get. And uh, again, they are confirming that we will get the Kronstadt event rerun as well. We knew that she was going to be the next UR rerun, and they're just confirming it here. Uh, okay, and here are the two Shikishi board rewards from the, uh, for the social media campaign that they're currently running. Oh, look, they've got a little, uh, little Soyuz mug. Oh, it says Sovetskaya Soyuz on the back, too with the, uh, the Northern Parliament logo, all right. I suppose it is just nice to have confirmation that Abyssal Refrain with Kronstadt is uh, coming back, and then Virtual Tower, of course, as well. Game information. All right, the Azure Popularity Vote 2023 results announcement. All right, so here's rankings four through 10 for presumably the JP server. I am definitely happy to see Owadi, Hindenburg, and Kearsarge in there for sure. Uh, it sounded like Daimiwaki mentioned that the uh, the Bunny Girl skins probably helped to propel Kearsarge and Hindenburg up there, as if they weren't, you know, popular enough already, but uh, I think those skins probably helped. And then we've got the top three here, all Sakura Empire ships, not terribly surprising for the JP server, but we got uh, my girl Taiho in third, great to see her up here. We've got Musashi at second, and Unzen at first. I love all three of these ships, so no no objections of taste for me, that's for sure. And actually, as they announced before the voting even started, the top three ships are going to get some original goods and content surrounding them, scheduled to be produced in the future. So I think uh, I think Lafayette and Taiho were the two oldest ships uh, in the top ten, I, I believe, right? They're all kind of brainstorming. What what could the goods be? Could it be ASMR? Could it be some mouse pads? You know, what are what are we looking at? What are we looking forward to? So I guess we will. I guess we'll all be surprised when that comes through. What the heck is this? What what is this? Oh right. Okay. I, I think this was a separate vote that they did on social media about uh, which was your favorite side character or like kind of like tertiary character. So apparently a gift will be given to five people uh, by lottery of those who voted for this uh, for this particular poll. I can't remember if the battle suit was shown during April Fools or if it was like part of a Gridman collaboration. I can't remember exactly, but um, but I do remember seeing the uh, seeing the art. Oh, nice! So the official ASMR for Guam is going to be available on DL site. It's currently viewable uh, for free on YouTube, both the English and the Japanese voiced versions. The voice actress for Guam did actually do an English version of the ASMR, which is which is really great. Uh, so yeah, I wonder. I'm thinking that both versions are probably going to be available on DL site for free as well. So they'll have translations and everything there. Okay, so the next season of the official ASMR series for Azure Lane, uh, Season 5, the first entry of Season 5 is going to be Z23, and that is going to be available on the 24th. Uh, so in just a couple of days, actually, it's going to have a 20% off you know, early bird bonus for the first couple of weeks, I'm sure. And, uh, and yeah, you can you can check it out there. I don't think they've announced who the other two... Oh, here, here we go. Oh, yes! Yes, yes, yes. All right, so they, they are announcing here who the next two of Season 5 are going to be, and it is going to include Chapayev and Golden Hind. Golden Hind, obviously a prime pick for an ASMR. Those who know, know. Um, the Seiyu for Golden Hind, a prolific ASMR uh, voice talent. So... So definitely, definitely hype about these two. Can't wait to uh, to pick these up for sure. Uh, we'll get announcements about when they get revealed, uh, I'm sure, at a later date. I am a little worried about Chapayevs, I'm not going to lie. You know, she has a she has a tendency to play rough, but, uh, I, you know, the whole, the whole ASMR series is about pampering, so hopefully she can kind of rein that in a little bit. Oh, Fumo Collection with uh, collaboration with Azure Lane featuring Ulrich von Hutten. So... Oh, but she's got like little cat whiskers and a cat tail, and of course the you know the form-fitting dress has a little bit of a futuristic edge to it as well, built in with the 
with the chair. So I think this is uh like a select. So if I'm not mistaken, I believe this is like a, an assortment of PC accessories. So like mouse and uh, keyboard combinations and things like that. Okay, so they are reselling uh, the Gift Azure Lane Plush Toy Series first edition, uh, made to order and sold at Ami Ami Online Branch. Oh, okay. All right, so we've got Shinano, Lamalin, Formidable, Cheshire, Noshiro here. And oh, there they have them. They're really cute. They're really cute. I love their deadpan expressions. Oh, look, look, there's Shinano's tail. Oh, look, they even have little fluff in her ears. It's a lot of uh, attention to detail. I, I, have, I think that the Ami Ami plushes tend to sell out like super quick. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> Mafia San. <laughs> so here's a variety of merchandise featuring art from the Azure Lane collaborations with Atelier Riza as well as Dead or Alive Extreme Venus Vacation. So there's a pillow series featuring the art uh, of the girls in their skins. And I think uh, I think these are available on the Tecmo Koei site if I'm not mistaken. Oh, okay, so they've got, it looks like they've got some posters and acrylic stands too. So some other merch in addition to the pillow series. Oh, okay, here we go. Here's the pillow. That's huge. <laughs> it looks really comfy. So here. <laughs> and here is Mafia San modeling one with Marie Rose as well. Next up, we have a life-size mouse pad of Belfast in her casual wear uh, by Soft Garage. Uh, Pre-orders are currently open for this one. And they're, oh, they've got it in studio. Mafia's on trying out all the goods. Oh, she wants to try. <laughs> She's saying it's not really a mouse pad. Ah, there he is to showcase some of the figure prototypes available. So pre-orders are currently open for Neon Max's Dido in her Bisque doll skin, uh, retailing for 26,400 yen, one seventh scale. We've got Jean d'Arc by Alice Glint, which is a manufacturer I am definitely not familiar with. I've never heard of them before, uh, but they are. It looks like there's an alternate face plate for her. This this is her swimsuit skin at one seventh scale. I saw pre-orders open for this one just randomly the other day, so she is currently available for pre-order. Oh, and a personal favorite of mine, St. Louis in her evening gown skin, luxury handle by Alter, 20,680 yen, one-sixth scale, and is going to be an Ami Ami exclusive. We've got Alpha Max doing Rodney in her Chipao, very, very beautiful, 26,400 yen, one-seventh scale. Pre-order is currently open for this one as well. And on the flip side, we've got Elegance version of St. Louis's luxury handle skin, one-seventh scale. And we've got Mime Yoi's Kashino skin at one-fourth scale, enormous in more ways than one. Uh, 38,280 yen for Kashino in her swimsuit skin. And we've also got Tosa in her swimsuit skin, as well as Shinano in her gown skin by Good Smile Company at one seventh scale as well. Uh, this Emmanuel Passano figure by Luminous Box is one seventh scale. And we've got Freeing's life-size bust of St. Louis, 330,000 yen. <laughs> oh, she's shielding Kashino from, uh, from leering eyes. Oh, such a beautiful design for Dido. Look at the detailing on the wings and the feathers. Really, really gorgeous stuff. Oh, I like the wa yeah, I like the water. Yeah, I like the swirling water effects, and then the uh, the billowing coat behind her too, because she is underwater in this skin. Uh, but yeah, Jean d'Arc in her swimsuit outfit, highlighting lots of little intricacies in the embroidery of the uh, dress or the coat. Oh, here's Rodney from Alpha Max. I like that they actually had some fluffy fur for her boa. Oh, here's Rodney from Alpha Max. I like that they have actually some fluffy fur for the uh, the boa. <laughs> and there is the Oshiri window in the dress. I do like how they added an actual like fluffy fur component to the boa, which because oftentimes they try to sculpt that and it doesn't end up looking quite right. So I, I do think that was do think that was a good move. Love the dress, love the bench, really nice. Like I said, this is one of the first good looks that we're getting of Mime Yoi's Kashino. Looks like the base is a mirror, so you can admire all of uh, all of the angles and everything. I know there was some uh, criticism on My Figure Collection and such about... 
<laughs> the Seiyu shielding, shielding Kashino. But there, like some adjustments to the pose, for example, because I think they changed her uh, the angle of her head to look straight on. <laughs> the manju there. <laughs> Oh, there's her hair, too, kind of pooling next to her. So I, there were also some perceived modifications to sort of the thickness of her legs and hips, too. Um, you know, I, I don't know. It, it could be an angle thing. It's not entirely sure. This is, again, the first time we're really getting a good look at her. I, I mean, that notwithstanding, she looks great. She really does. And then uh, next up, we've got Tosa. And look at all the floof behind her, too. Love to see it. Yeah, so Tosa swimsuit skin, a classic. I remember when uh, when it dropped, it ended up getting pulled from the Chinese uh, version of the game. <laughs> like, there was like a limited window of, of like a week to get Tosa swimsuit skin before it was pulled among uh, amongst some of the other swimsuit skins in that batch. Good times, good times. Uh, but most of these figures are available for pre-order right now at your online figure retailer of choice. I will have affiliate pre-order links to Hobby Link Japan down below in the description and in a pinned comment if you would like to pre-order uh, some Astro Lane figures and help support the channel at the same time. But like I said, they will be available everywhere. Okay, so here's the sixth craft beer collaboration with, it looks like Baird beer this time, um, but this is going to be one that features Prince of Wales. So what is IPA? A complex and deep beer brewed based on British tradition, a style with a high alcohol content and a strong bitterness due to the use of a lot of hops, characterized by a strong bitterness and a strong malt flavor. It goes well with spicy foods such as Indian curry and Thai curry. While the market is flooded with West Coast IPAs and hazy IPAs, Empire IPA creates traditional British IPAs. So for that traditional flavor for Prince of Wales, I really, I actually really like this. I think this is really a cool venture and a cool collaboration that they've done. Again, this is the sixth in the series and will be available on the official Yostar shop. Oh, what is this? So this is Azure Lane Trip in Okinawa. Uh, so they offer Yomiuri trips and campaign tours April 13th until June 17th, 2024. And they're going to have some original goods as gifts uh, when reservations are made that you can see here. All right, looks like there's going to be a stamp rally. If you collect a certain number of stamps, you get some limited novelty rewards. Uh, and, and lots of different commemorative event goods will be available on site as well. Oh, he's got a sample of one of the shirts that you can get. Taskete. Taskete. It's a little... They've been mashing on that little soundboard this entire time uh, of Kuchan saying Taskete over and over in reaction. Taskete, of course, meaning help me in Japanese. So this is the STI collaboration promotional video that they're showing here. I did see some posts about this on social media. Uh, there's the driver right there. Held at the end of May, the STI MBR Challenge 2024. Okay, it's the collaboration ship silhouette released, so that's pretty clearly Zoikaku. Uh, please look forward to future updates. The collaboration continues with Yamaha. I will be taking on the Suzuka 8-hour endurance road race again this year. All right, so here is the recap. Uh, we are going to be getting the brand new Northern Parliament event, Ginkai Yukai. Uh, so here are the new ships, including, of course, Sovetskaya Soyuz, who is going to be the ultra rare right there, front and center. Very, very exciting. Here is the skin batch, at least the first skin batch that's going to drop with the event. So look forward to these. And then the gear skins, uh, the gear skin box contents, as well as the dorm furniture theme for the event as well. Akashi, always peddling those packs so these are going to be the akashi packs available in the store during the event period uh they're going to introduce something new a great value daily bag new daily bags will be released every day up to seven can be purchased and they are going to have some lucky bags as well of course oh we're getting a little outro and a gift from kuchan great performance on that front great job <laughs> All right, so here are the live stream rewards. Everybody is going to be getting these. Some cubes, some cog chips, some cog arrays, not too shabby, as well as some rapid campaigns and some food for the ship girls in the dorm, all good stuff. Okay, so we're all getting some commemorative rewards for breaking 10 million downloads. I, I think it's 10 million. Uh, so some coins, 20 cubes, and also some skill books. So I think everybody should get this. And I don't know if the download threshold is across all servers, if it's the Japanese server, or or, or even if I counted the number right. I, I don't know. But <laughs> regardless, there was a milestone that was reached of downloads. And so we are all getting some rewards, which is nice.
Now, before the recap, Daimiwaki did mention something on the side about uh, Slow Ahead Season 2, the anime, uh, but didn't show anything. So I, I'm guessing that maybe he was just saying that it's still in development, they don't have anything to show right now, but they're working on it. Something to that effect, because we didn't get any new trailers or anything. But definitely looking forward to that. Slow Ahead, super cute, super sweet. I need my, uh, need my daily dose of saccharin in there. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, um, so I, they're all kind of wrapping things up now, and I guess I'll I'll do the same more or less. Uh, finally, finally, we have Soyuz coming into the game. It is official; she is coming, and she is going to be an ultra rare ship. Uh, the batch itself looks nice; a lot of variety in there. The skin batch, I like the theming. I've always liked that theming. Um, Phantom thieves and cops and robbers. That sort of mix gives them a lot of flexibility in the direction, and I think I do think they had a nice combination of themes in the skin batch there. Oh, that's cool! Look at that! It's a little happy birthday cake for, with Kuchan on it. That's so cute. Oh, that's sweet. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> that's for her, obviously, as the voice actress, the seiyu for Pamiat Mercuria. That's very sweet. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Mafia-san singing happy birthday to her. <laughs> I feel like I feel like everybody could use Mafia-san singing happy birthday to them. It should be it should be a it should be a voicemail recording that you can send to people. <laughs> but yeah, we didn't get any larger scale game update news or things kind of uh, projection for the 2024, a timeline of what's incoming or anything like that. So we didn't really get anything solid there. We actually didn't even get confirmation that uh, of how many URs we're going to be getting this year. But, you know, if they're keeping pace with last year, it, it would still be four new URs. We did, of course, get confirmation that Kronstadt is going to be the next UR rerun, and that rerun is forthcoming. And, of course, also that Virtual Tower, the light rerun of Virtual Tower, is going to be, I think, next, or, or coming pretty soon after this event. So... But yeah, I'm hype. I'm I'm hyped for Soyuz. I'm hyped for the new ship batch. I'm hyped for the skins. I'm hyped for the new event. I can't wait to dig into it. And that's all going to be hitting us next week. And of course, when the event does launch, we will be putting out a day one video for our day one polls going in for Soyuz, as well as a skin overview of the batch as well. So uh, please look forward to that. If you are interested in that, do make sure to subscribe so you get notified when that goes live. Bye bye. All right, so uh, let me know down below what you're most excited for, what you're most looking forward to out of what was revealed today. Uh, hopefully you all enjoyed the video. If you did, please feel free to leave us a like, comment, subscribe to the channel for more Azure Lane content. We thank you all so much for watching, for taking time out of your day to spend with us. We really do appreciate it. And until next time, let's protect those waters.